Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clear the cache on your macOS device. Following this process is good if your Mac may be running a little bit slow or it might be feeling a little bit clunky as it's gotten a few years old and you might want to just clear out some of the stuff that could be slowing it down. It's a pretty simple process but it can be very effective in helping to improve the speed on your Mac if it is running a bit slow. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so all you need to do for this process is go to Finder, uh, so make sure it's selected, in this case it is, and so make sure it says Finder up here, and then go across to Go, and then go down to the Go To Folder section, so we'll click Go To Folder, and um, what you need to do is first we'll show you how to clear the user cache, and then I'll show you how to clear the entire system cache. So. For the user cache, what you need to do is put in this little curly line here. I'm not exactly sure what that's called, but you can find it in the top left-hand corner of your keyboard. And then put slash library slash caches. And then click enter. You'll see that this will open the caches folder. And all you need to do is, if you know specifically what you want to delete, you can find it and then specifically move it to the bin or you can just select it all by clicking command A and then right clicking and then click move to bin if you would like to. So you can then move it to the bin and then once it's in the bin, you can then empty that bin and hopefully it'll clear up your Mac uh, into a bit more um, speed. Now just be aware, sometimes this can go wrong. So I'd suggest specifically looking for the file that you think is slowing down your Mac and then emptying it and also making sure you have a backup before you delete any of these files because sometimes in the rare event it can cause some damage to your computer but usually this is good at speeding it up so I can essentially just empty the bin and there you go you can see it's just removed all that cache and you can see there's already caches building up back in this uh, folder so but it's cleared for now and then the other way we can do it is, so that was clearing the user cache. Now we can clear the system cache. So go back to go and then go to folder. And then this time we're just going to put slash library slash caches. And this is going to find the system caches. And then once again, you can select them all and then right click and then click move to bin. Now it may need the administrator password. Um, so make sure that... Um, you have that and I'm not actually going to do this today because this is across my entire system and I don't need to delete it but this is for more extreme circumstances where maybe deleting the user caches hasn't really helped and there might be something specific that's system wide that you really need to uh, delete but just be a bit more careful messing around in the system wide caches because it can cause some more problems so just be aware of that. So yeah, that's a pretty simple process on how to delete the cache files on your macOS device. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in deleting these cached files and it has helped to speed up your machine a little bit. And yeah, once again, just be aware that you should have a backup and just make sure that you're careful doing this process because in rare occasions it can go wrong. And also remember that if you delete them out of the folder, you also need to go back to the bin and then empty the bin. It's not enough just to delete them out of the folder because they'll all still be in the bin. So make sure you delete it from the bin as well. And this can help to create some storage on your computer as well as helping to speed it up a bit. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.